Welcome back. You're checking out Impossible Color. And today I'm going to show you how to do easy split toning in Adobe Camera Raw. So I did a quick Google search here for toned photography. And I'm sure many of you are familiar with this look. Basically, it's a black and white image that had been toned with another color. Probably the most common would be the sepia tone that you can see in these two photos here. A little bit here. But you could also use blue or any other uh, color to tone your photo. But today we'll actually be going through split toning and basically what that means is the highlights will be toned one color and your shadows will be toned another color. So let's jump right into Adobe Camera Raw. This is the photo that I'll be working with today and our final is going to look like this. So how did we get there? Well, the first thing we'll be doing, I did a little bit of prep work. Basically, I did some lens corrections and I took the highlights and brought them down and did some other exposure settings just to give this a nice tonal balance. But you can see the difference that happened when I did that was we got a lot of saturation in these colors. So before we do any split toning, we want to take the saturation down quite a bit. And I find that that makes the split tone look a lot better. If you apply a split tone on top of a very colorful image, it just becomes way, way too much. So if we go down to saturation, let's slide that down to, let's say, minus 25. And now I'm going to go into the saturation tab of the HSL and I'm going to adjust the saturation per color channel. The red I'm going to bring up just slightly because we lost some red in his face when we brought the global saturation down. For the orange this image is really dominated by a lot of orange and all of this wood but I, I'd rather the story uh, come across more than the color itself. So I'm going to bring that orange quite a bit down. And again, the yellows that are in all those woods need to come down a lot. So I'd say somewhere around there looks pretty good. And for the greens and aquas, they look fine to me. But this blue is really starting to pop now. And I just think it's a little bit too much. So I'm going to bring that down quite a bit to minus 60. Also some purples in that area that I'm going to bring down. Just different colors of some things in the window here that I'll need to deal with later. And let's bring the magentas down as well. Okay, now that I have that looking pretty good, I'm going to go to this tab right here. And this is where the magic happens. This is the split toning tab. So let's do some extremes here just to show you what's actually going on. So for the highlights, you can pick any color. Let's just pick something wild here and increase the saturation all the way. So if you just did one of these, it basically gives the look of uh, just a regular toned image, like a, a monotone. And you can see that all of the highlights are taking on this aqua color. Now, if we were to pick another color, let's say this wild pink here. So wherever the shadows are, you can see that it's taking on this pinky color. But clearly that's not what we want. I find for most split tones, it looks better when you pick a warmer color for the light. Kind of represent almost like the, the warmth of the sun coming down into the image. And then a cool color for the shadows. So sometimes it's a good idea if you do have any difficulties finding complementary colors to turn your saturation way up. You're not going to keep it here, but we'll slide those down later once you find a perfect match. So I'm just going to move here and try to find, I think 50 looks like a nice warm color. 
for the highlights and for the shadows I'm just going to move this along until I see something that looks well balanced and that looks pretty good to me so if you want to adjust the distribution of those colors you can also adjust the balance here so you can skew it towards your highlights or you can skew it towards your shadows but I'm just gonna leave that in the middle for now and now I'm gonna work with the saturation now that I know I had the colors looking good bring that way down and just to start I'll make the shadows the same And I find that the shadows are a little bit too strong, so I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. And there you go. That is how you do split toning in Adobe Camera Raw. And just to show you a few more steps in Adobe Photoshop to perfect this image. So let's go right into there. Close this down. So you can see the before here that was in Adobe Camera Raw and the after here. So you can see that I cloned out a few of distracting elements. I brought a lot of clarity into this region here that was a bit too distracting. And I did a lot of sharpening to make the image really pop and help sell this really interesting character. Thanks for checking out Impossible Color. If you have any comments or questions, or you just want to send me a message, I'd love to get your feedback. And I'd also like to do another Save My Photo edition for next week. So if you want to send any submissions, that would be awesome. Please give me a thumbs up, a like, or you can share with your friends if you felt this was useful and you learned something here. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next week with some more great videos.